Welcome back to Cure of the Common Game. Today, in deck number 575, we're going to talk about Chevelle, the Bane of Monsters. Now, for a black and a green, we get a 1-3 human rogue with Death Touch at the beginning of your upkeep if you control no uh, permanents. Uh, I'm sorry, if your opponents control no permanents with bounty counters on them. You put a bounty counter on a creature or a walker, they control. And whenever a permanent with a bounty counter on it dies, you gain three life and draw a card. This works phenomenally well with that... Uh, Tempest card, Bounty Hunter, because it puts a bounty counter on. Pretty sweet. I I don't know. I guess I've, I've used that. Uh, I didn't have many copies. so. But this seems very, very conditional to me. Uh, so, best case scenario, you are setting a creature up to get you a card draw in three life when it dies. I, I didn't... To be honest with you, I didn't think that was worth building around, so I went Death Touch. Now, this is black and green. This is the Death Touch colors, and I kind of, here, we'll go through our our Death Touch creatures. Now, I love Death Touch. First off, I love Death Touch with, uh, y'all know I love to get a trample with things like, um, you know, Overrun and Nightly is Forerunner because Death Touch and Trample is just the most beautiful synergy there is. So, uh, Typhoid Rats, Moss Viper, Vampire of the Moon, Wasteland Viper, Farika's Chosen, Hired Poisoner, Narwood Drow, uh, Death Gaze, Cockatrice, Karen Wanderer will have Death Touch. I mean, let's face it, some of your creatures are going to die. And incidentally it's going to have other things now the archetype of finality does seem kind of weird since they all already have death touch but this is going to give death touch to you know your mana elves and your other things most importantly it's going to take it away from your opponents just in case soul of Innistrad is good uh skull winder vampire nighthawk and then the vampire nighthawk that doesn't fly <laughs> Uh, Deadly Recluse, Ambush Viper, I call the Green Doom Blade, because it has flash, and you just flash it out as a blocker. I love it. Uh, Thornwheeled Archer, Hornet Nest, well here, <laughs> let's do the Hornet Queen first. You know, she brings four uh, of these insects into play. Um, now, Hornet Nest, Hornet Nest is where I went down the rabbit hole at. <laughs> it's like, well... It's going to create these bees, for lack of a better word, these hornets. So, whenever it's dealt damage. Now, it only takes two damage to kill it. So, we want a way to repeatably deal damage to it. Now, but want a turn. So, Pestilence does that. However... Uh, yeah, it, it uh, you know you can control it j just doing one at a time. However, if you do that, you're killing all your hornets that you made previously. So that's why I was like, well, our <laughs> our Lady of Death Touch Vraska, yeah, uh, to when a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. I don't even care what the minus does. I'm playing this as a four man enchantment. Just for that ability, you know. Um, so, uh, I was like, Pestilence is one card, you know, so we're going to put in the Demir House Guard to go find it, or maybe even the Diabolic Tutor to go find it. Now, in Ice Age, we got a cheaper version, albeit three mana, and you've got to only use Snow Covered Swamps, so I'm using Snow Covered Swamps. Um, but uh, Demir Machinations, you know, we'll find it as well because of the transmutability. Then I was like, you know what? Rite of Passage is the card. It's also three mana so that uh, Machinations can go tutor it up as well. And with Pestilence, this is the way. I mean, is it not? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you Pestilence everything all... The whole whole table worth of creatures takes one damage. Yes, they got to survive. So the trick is that first pass. But man, it's it's a. Uh, but then things that fungusaur now a dinosaur, and this was the 
first instance of enrage. It was spelled out. We didn't know it was enrage at the time, but then later on we got, you know, true enrage. And to which, by the way, these dinosaurs are pretty cool if they have death, touch, and trample as well. Um, now the beast tracker. Decent card because it is, uh, it it's a super tutor, right? It's a tutor for just about any creature in our deck, or that because it's got most of them have death touch, but also the Nylea creature grants them all trample. So this more than likely most of the time is probably going to be used to grab that uh, card draw. Not a whole lot, probably. Probably way too little. This is probably where I'm shy at. Uh, Sign and Blood and Death Reap Ritual. Let's look at some ramp here, shall we? Uh, as I mentioned, all my swamps are snow covered. My forest will be snow covered too if I had any left. <laughs> but so that, you know, rampant growth. Uh, we have Skull Prophet, Elves of Deep Shadow. Elvish Mystic, Llanowar Elves, Leyline Prowler. Now, this is beautiful. It fits the theme and its mana ramp. I love it. Death Touch and Mana of Any Color. Then, of course, we have the Clue Stone Locket Signet. Now, uh, we do still have... The kind of Death Touch theme does work with Chevelle in the fact that that doesn't... His abilities don't let you kill the creature, so we've got to have some removal. So we'll be doing some incidental card draw off of our commander. So we've got to kill things, right? So Death Sprout, Gaze of Granite, Casualties of War, Murder, Crows and Grip, Plague Crafter, I consider, I mean, this is a removal spell. It really is. You know, Putrefy, Death Mark, Return to Nature. Uh, the Glamour. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've talked about the Glamour, but, you know, getting rid of that indestructible artifact, man, really, really helps. How, how many times have, has somebody, you know, popped that Dark Steel Forge down and you're just like, well, that's it. Uh, Price of Fame. I don't know why I haven't been using this more because it's a Doom Blade versus Commanders. So, you know, okay. Acidic Slime. Boy, how's that for, uh, you know, meeting the theme? Uh, Heartless Act and Extinction Event. Now, Extinction Event is not going to trigger your Bounty Counter stuff because it does Exile. But I do like how how versatile this is. I mean, well, yeah, you only get two options. But I think this is a very, very underrated card. And I don't know... Yes, this might be reprintable at some point in a commander deck down the line, but I think this is a underappreciated card. Now, we have Sir Conrad, because a lot of stuff is going to die. We have the uh, archetype of endurance, you know. Hexproof, that's pretty sweet. And then we have Dredge the Mire. Now, I really love Dredge the Mire. You don't get to pick the creatures. However, if you can control it enough with all your removal to make sure everybody only has one creature, then that's the one that you want in, in, in their graveyard. Either way, this is a great commander card because you're getting more than likely when you cast it, you're not going to cast it unless you're going to get three, three for one. So our non-basic lands, you know, uh, the Land of War Waste, Tainted Wood, Foul Orchard, the Rot Farm, Jungle Hollow, Temple of Malady, uh, the Guild Gate, Blighted Woodland, Evolving Wilds, and Encroaching Waste. Now, uh, that's what I've got for Chevel. Uh, or Chevy, as I uh, have been calling. <laughs> oh, come on out of there. I need to refix my box, don't I? Uh, what is this? Five seventy-five. Um, I guess it is going to be a challenge uh, since Icoria was pushed back so far. It's going to be a challenge to get Icoria done before M twenty-one comes out. So 
That's a real thing. So, if we're going to get on it, see what we can do. Anyway, that is 575. Go away across here. Put it on the wall. Uh, got a couple more decks done. Still, still building. Still, I did finally get my last legendary creature in, so that is awesome. Uh, I, I, I've got every every legend from Ikoria now. Well, of course, you know, Commander. It's easy. You just buy one of each, and you're done. But it's uh, yeah. We're getting there. I appreciate you watching. Hey, y'all, let me know what you think. Um, this may be another one of those decks where it's kind of too busy. Maybe secondhand thinking about it, it I may have, may have should have done like um, a global plus one, plus one uh, to all my creatures so that they live through. I don't know. Thought about it after the fact, but y'all let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut. <laughs>